Good day, bonjour, Huda Morgan, as Executive Director of the newest International Public Health Agency of the 21st Century, CARFA, the importance of public health is succinctly summed up in the words of our slogan, preventing disease, promoting and protecting health. Indeed, the Caribbean Public Health Agency, CARFA, is committed to promoting a healthier, more productive Caribbean population in cleaner and greener environments. The work of CARFA advances the public health of the region in several ways, including the monitoring of health and disease spread and responding to emergencies, laboratory services, nutrition and food security, health research, environmental health and pharmaceutical quality. However, within recent times, the scourge of non-communicable diseases, also known as NCDs, such as obesity, stroke, cancers, heart disease and diabetes, along with their risks, such as tobacco use and harmful use of alcohol, and poor diet and physical inactivity, has presented a clear and present danger to our health and economies right here in the region. The sobering reality is that NCDs are now the leading cause of premature death, accounting for nearly half the deaths of persons under 70 years and two out of three deaths overall in the Caribbean. The sobering reality is that NCDs are a preventable impediment to economic growth. In addition, this region has one of the highest rates of obesity in children and adults in the world. Recent studies throughout the Caribbean show that 25% of adolescents as being overweight or obese. This is mainly due to poor diets and lack of physical activity, driven by profound changes in the way we live and play, with massive marketing of foods high in sugar, fats and salt, as well as several hours per day spent watching TV and playing video games. In fact, the vast majority of people do not get five servings of fruits and vegetables a day, which protect you against high blood pressure, heart disease, and cancer. Despite the alarming nature of all this evidence, there is a positive side to NCDs. Most of them are caused by modifiable risk factors. In other words, if we control the risk factors leading to NCDs, we can prevent some 80% of all heart attacks, strokes and diabetes, as well as 40% of cancers. This will greatly benefit the economy also. The risk factors are mostly known to all of us. They include tobacco use, an unhealthy diet, physical inactivity and harmful use of alcohol. Other intermediate risk factors include high blood pressure, high cholesterol, high blood sugar and obesity. We urge you to add life to your life and reverse the NCD trend. Start today by making at least one lifestyle change. Add life by walking 30 minutes a day. It can cut your risk of heart attack in half. Reduce your salt intake to reduce your risk of high blood pressure. Try to eat five servings of fruit and vegetables each day to reduce your risk of high blood pressure, heart disease, and cancer. Don't smoke to reduce your risk of cancer and wrinkles and save some money. Reduce your alcohol consumption. If you have high blood pressure or diabetes, stay on your medication that your doctor prescribes to avoid expensive complications like heart attacks, strokes, and kidney failure. Recognizing that the health of the region is the wealth of the region, CAFA encourages you to join with us in demonstrating your firm commitment to improving the quality of your own life and that of our families so we move towards more healthy people in healthy spaces and reduce the preventable health costs to families, businesses and governments. I thank you.